Hi, Bob Greener here, volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So over the last day or so, I have had the Radio Code 101 over the right-hand side of the Lion 4 reactor. And uh, you can see the chart here looks pretty much the same as many other charts that we have seen. However, what I will say is I've discovered this. What I actually did is I did a two-day uh, spectrum for background and actually if this is the chart for what you're seeing here right now now if I go and click this button here it'll show this uh, spectrum for the background overlaid in that green line you can see it there and in fact you can choose different drawing modes and if I zoom into this you can see uh, how that lines up and where there are any differences okay and uh, this is just here in the sort of radion radon uh, or thorium decay chains here. Um, so I'll zoom out of that. Um, but it also has this other mode. If I click it again, it shows the differences. And the interesting thing is here that there isn't much differences anywhere, except there's this sharp pe peak at the beginning. Um, so are we getting some soft X-ray emissions out of the Lion 4 reactor? I don't know. Uh, it's quite some time since it's been here, so it would be surprising if it was. Um, but what we'll do is uh, we'll just have a look at a, another sample taken, say, from the mushrooms and see if we see something similar. Okay, so here is the mushroom spectrum, and if we hit this button here, we see the overlay of the two day background. If we click it again, actually, we see that these um, uh, low end energy ones here are actually um, uh, well below in this case. Now, um, does this tell us that there is some inaccuracy at the lower end and that is what is going on? So I think some more explanation needs to be done. Anyway, thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.